Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do, I'm going to do a daily read and it will be for Monday the 22nd of March 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. So I'm going to, let's just pull an angel card and see what advice we get. It is for all signs, Monday the 22nd of March 2021. What is the message people need to hear the most? Angels, spirits, guides. Message people need to hear the most, please. Oh, I'm just going to take the one that's fallen on the table. I've got a focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything feeds you everything you need. Your put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So it is kind of like that law of attraction energy, isn't it? I mean some of you may be doing something practically to do with service. Um in some way, shape or form that might resonate with you on different levels. But this is very much about what you're putting into something is how you're going to be rewarded. Yeah, interesting energy. Okay, so let's pull some cards and see what we get. Message for Monday, 26th of March, 2021 for all signs, please. What do we have? Monday 26th of March 2021 for all signs thank you okay we've got the sun always a nice energy four of pentacles the world ten of swords Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. The, the energy that I'm definitely getting here is, you know, the sun is such a positive energy. And remember, even in the darkest times, which is that kind of Ten of Swords energy, the sun is beginning to rise. That is what we're being told here. Even though it feels somebody has been through, I mean, this can be dark night of the soul energy, betrayal, loss, crisis, um, deep wounds, you know, but it's a 10, which is a completion. It feels for some of you that there will be an opportunity to release from whatever this pain, this hurt, uh, there's levels to this 10 of swords. And it can also be whatever may have happened, you know, in your practical outside world, in your physical outside reality that hurt you deeply. The Ten of Swords can also be how it owns your mind as well. You know, how it's how it controls the negative energy that stops you from moving on from from whatever this was. We're seeing the light here and um, full the full sun is risen so where it was beginning there were glimmers there was hope we see the full sun risen here so i'm definitely getting this energy of you will soon have an opportunity to put a difficult situation behind you that has hurt you and flawed you and you're going to come through the other side i mean you know the sun is also a letting go it's a releasing energy it's a liberation energy where somebody is stepping into their light their power celebration good news happiness joy um feeling the warmth of the sun again you know it's it's it it feels there's better times to come and generally when the sun appears it's a great affirmation of yes for any of you wanting to hear yes it's also a really good energy of everything's going to be okay that's what you're being told by spirit because it is the the, angel, the spirit angel the spirit card um where you're being watched over with the sun divine energy so we have the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles in one way, you know, I mean, yes, this can be in terms of money and career. Uh, you know, in, in one way, this can be somebody being careful with money 
and it feels in this energy there is an opportunity for greater abundance coming your way. Certainly with the Nine of Pentacles, this is a card of material success and abundance through hard work and energy. Um, this person has earned every single one of those of those pentacles. So it feels in this situation, also if you're if you're recovering from health or recovering from the fallout of a situation what, that hurt you deeply, this is a card of healing. This is the card of not holding on to things that are going to stop you from feeling empowered and, you know, uh, block your recovery. So there's definitely an energy, again, of releasing these energies. You, you deserve more. Know what you deserve. That could be in the material sense, money, career, finance, but it can also be in terms of uh, recovery from situations where there may have been a fallout that hurt you deeply. But it feels in this situation, it's time to release, to let go of that which hurt you and embrace the light, you know, embrace the warmth. There are better times to come. You will finally allow something difficult to be put behind you. Um, I definitely see some big completion coming your way. But these are very good, good signs in terms of money, career, finances as well for some of you. Uh, we go from a four, you know, nine of pentacles with the four. There's definitely an energy of growth here or the potential of growth. Because we have, the completion is coming. The completion is coming, the success is coming, the victory is coming, the winning is coming. For any of you who need to win in a situation, this is a really good card of winning. So I definitely see the success is coming. The world card is worldly success and major completion. But it's also a card of goal achievement. So again, it's very, very good in terms of money, career, finances. Um, other areas, you know, this can be where you're drawing a line under a situation, something finally completes and you're ready to step into the next phase of your life. So it feels whatever you're waiting to come, is coming that is going to bring in a final completion to a situation and there is an opportunity to release here so for some of you seem to be going through that process of having gone through some kind of like very tough energy pain hurt loss crisis um betrayal call it what you will and it has been difficult to break free of that energy for whatever reason whether it's been financial whether it's been uh, to do with relationships and fallout of something but it feels in this situation there's something good coming your way finally you're seeing the light finally the light is here and you can put the difficult time behind you because the effort that you've been putting in and this is where that focus on service and it feels like how you can serve yourself better in this situation and I think that's what spirit is trying to tell you serve yourself better put yourself first serve your own needs um, because you're going to get the reward this is your ships are coming in and it's it's clarifying the world which is the completion or the success the victory um the celebration the achievement call it what you will the goal uh it's coming so it's definitely an energy of your ships are coming in and again, we have the page of pentacles at the end. This can be in terms of a message to do with an offer or can be financial um, money offer, financial career money offer. And um, that can be the page of pentacles. Pages can also be the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, where you're ready to start looking at how to improve your life for the better you know that can be the page of pentacles it can be skills development um if you've been learning skills if you've been adding qualifications even for example if this is money in career if you've been adding money qualifications to your uh, get to get under your belt using your time wisely there is success coming your way as a result of that you know because you're making yourself more attractive on the job market on the career front on the business front call it what you will so it definitely feels for some of you that some of you have been using your time wisely to manifest this success this goal of achievement that's coming your way but I also feel um, in this energy I mean whatever this fallout has been this ten of swords and it feels like some kind of fallout 
it's definitely what I'm getting quite strongly from spirit. You're going to put it behind you. There will be a major completion coming your way and the success is coming. And that's what you're being told. What you've been working towards focusing on, the success is coming. Now we have some travel cards here. Some of you might be looking at travel, overseas opportunities as well. That might be linked with this too. But I definitely get this energy of you will soon turn your back on what this was and have the opportunity to stand in your own abundance, really pretty, feeling pretty empowered. And I'm getting the energy of getting back on your feet, getting back on your feet. It feels quite strong in whatever sense this resonates for you. Doing what you need to do to bring the new into your life now. Stability, security, um, where you need to place your practical focus and time to deliver this major completion now. But there's definitely an energy of, of there is an op you're getting back on your feet. Continue doing what you're doing. That's what you're being told with this energy because you are getting back on your feet whether you're aware of it or not. That sun is rising in the distance. It's a new day, a new dawn. And there is some kind of major completion coming your way that's resulting in a success, worldly success, victory, accomplishment. Beautiful energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final fairy card. Final message, please. Final message for this reading, Angel Spirits Guide. Let's just shuffle these. Final message. Monday the 22nd of March for all signs, thank you. What do we have as a final message, please? Yeah, you see, I've got the three at the end, manifestation, and we have the manifestation here. So we have, be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. You know, that the page is very practical, the pentacles energy is practical, focused, methodical, patient, hardworking energy. But it is bringing some kind of change in your conscious reality here, but also in bringing stability and security back into your life. So whatever you've been focusing on, I'm definitely getting this message of there's something coming here. The completion is coming. The goal is coming that is going to put you back on your feet. I'm feeling pretty good and empowered. So don't hold on or focus on that which is only negative. You will have an opportunity here between these two cards to break free of whatever this represented for you. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you um, and I will see you next time. Thank you.